Okay, fighters, we already went over the rules in the back. I expect a good clean fight. If you want to touch gloves now, go to your corner and beat the Warriors. No glove touch. Both of these guys, exactly. They had a pretty serious face-off yesterday at the weigh-ins as well. Talked a little bit of trash back and forth. This is not the time to go get an adult beverage. This is going to be a banger. Jake Sebastian in the blue tape and Abdul Kareem Al Sawadi with the red tape. The feature fight of the night here at LFA 103. Yeah, Jake put pressure on him right from the get-go. Nice wide and low stance. I mean, you see how Sawadi, the guy's a unit. I mean, oh, he's unbelievable. He's just muscle on muscle. The guy is yoked. A seven total first round finishes for these two. Right here, let it go. And Jake's got one of those nicknames that kind of suits him. He's kind of got this, you know, his wide stance. He's got this kind of loose style, very creative fighter. The snake suits him well. I'm really excited to see how he showcases his skills tonight in the time that he spent training with us. Beautiful. Guys are letting their fists fly. Five first round finishes in his six victories for Sebastian. You see Al Swati's waiting side to side, looking to set up that big overhand right. Al Sawadi's made a living knocking out opponents. Six knockout wins out of his ten. Good stance from Jake. Nice wide legs. Brace for those leg kicks if Al Sawadi comes in with them. But Al Sawadi, this is what he needs to do is he needs to apply that pressure. And Jake landed some big knees on the inside. Work detection now. Work detection. Work detection. And Al Sawadi punches his way in looking for a single leg takedown. Yeah, gets his way on the single. Jake using the wizard, maintaining his balance. And fights his way to score the first takedown of the fight. And this is interesting stuff from Al Sawadi to get the takedown. See what Jake Sebastian's got off his back. It's one thing when you're in the gym. I could sit here and tell you what Jake does in the gym. I could tell you right. the submissions and sweeps he has, but it's a lot different when you're competing. And there's a lot harder strikes involved, and it can throw you off your game. So it'll be interesting to see how Jake approaches the top game of Kareem Al Sawadi right now. In the guard of Sebastian going to work on the ribs, and Sebastian was hunting that arm. He's going to use the fence to scrape up. Wisely avoids the rear naked choke, and he's looking to get on top, use that underhook. But Al Sawadi's having none of it. Smashes him down. Yeah, keeping him in place. Strong power from Al Sawadi. Dude, he's got some humongous quads. He's got linebacker legs. Big time. Earl Campbell type of tree trunks. It's ironic because Jake Sebastian's the, the two time all league middle linebacker. Good point. <laughs> Played football at North Thurston High School. Had a couple opportunities to play sports in college, but decided to follow his dream and take up mixed martial arts. Jake needs to pummel in and get an underhook and retain his guard. And he did it right there. And he's got to control the posture of Al Sawadi and keep him from landing this ground and pound. Control the posture, control his head. and. Start to maybe threaten some submissions. Can't let this guy get too comfortable on top. Al Sawadi said he was ready to introduce himself to the U.S. tonight. Been waiting a long time to make his LFA and U.S. debut. Yeah, and Al Sawadi's doing a good job sitting on Jake Sebastian's uh, right leg sitting on the leg in half guard and applying some pressure, getting some passes. And it's forcing Jake to focus on ret guard retention, then controlling the posture. He's focused on trying to get his legs back around Al Sawadi. Get it, you know, like right now, he's just focused on trying to retain a guard. And that opens up an opportunity for Al Sawadi to lay in ground and pound. Oh, some hard shots being landed by Al Sawadi, continuing to tee off. And Jake's still, he's still in the fight, but Al Sawadi sucking the hips out, landed some good ground. Big shots, that is all. Impressive stuff from Al Sawadi. Abdul Kareem Al Sawadi, you have just introduced yourself to the United States. Welcome to the Legacy Fighting Alliance.
I mean, the top game was impressive. I mean, transition to transition, moving from side mount to half guard, landing damage in the or landing ground and pound from the guard of Jake Sebastian, and really just got the pressure on early. And, and it was very impressive stuff from Al Sawadi. Look, Jake Sebastian's my boy, but I got to give credit where credit is due. Of course, that was an impressive stateside LFA performance for Al Sawadi. And I'm sure his father, Hussam, and wife, and mom, the whole family, are celebrating tonight. And look at the performance. It was the big shots, and then the takedown that got Sebastian in trouble, Michael. He fought hard to get it, and finally took him to the mat. Yeah, he was relentless with the takedowns, and that's a hard frame and a hard build to deal with. When a guy wants to get on top, take you down, and land ground and pound like that, that performance to me was reminiscent of a late Sean Shirt. Oh, Just heck yeah. Getting on top, landing damage in the guard, and anytime Jake tried to make a move to get to his feet or to just to retain a guard, Al Sawadi was just all over him with ground and pound. So, very impressive stuff from Al Sawadi. Successful LFA a debut and breaks a two fight skid. Let's get the official time from Mike Kendall. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee Kevin Nix calls a stop to the fight. Four minutes, 12 seconds in the very first round, declaring your winner by TKO. 